Hello, this is Mark Franklin of Franklin Creative Media, and welcome to another edition of Vintage Tech Talk. And in this edition, we're going to be talking about the Technics 1506 four track reel to reel audio tape recorder. That is what I have right here next to me. It's either the oldest or one of the oldest pieces of equipment that I use. This one is from 1979 and uses two reels. The supply reel goes here and the take up reel goes here. You have to hand thread it through this mechanism. It's not like the cassettes we're used to using for video or the audio cassettes most of us grew up with, but you have to actually manually thread this through the machine. There's no mechanism that does it for you. It comes with a 10 inch take up reel and there are two size reel. Here's the one I'm gonna play. Uh, you notice there's a big uh, difference in the size of the hole because of the different size of some of the reels, we use these uh, adapters that comes with the machine. It goes in like that. Okay, that's all secured. I'm going to remove this one since we don't need it. You just got to give it some slack. It's best if you power it down when you're doing this. This machine is so quiet you don't even know when it's on unless it's playing a tape. And I like to get enough just so I can see it in there. get wrapped around two times so you got some tension you can see it's pulling power it on and you hit play since I've been using this I've posted some pictures of it going on social media and many of uh, the people in my audio visual groups have told me that you know when they were in radio in the 70s early 80s, they used to use these actual machines, even though it's technically a consumer machine, they used it to edit their radio programs. What they, people would do is they would put two of these machines together, one would be playing and one would be recording, and that's how they would edit the shows uh, together for uh, playback on the radio in some stations. It is uh, a very high quality machine, I mean, it's this. Uh, I don't want to play the, the tape so you could hear it, but it's just a tape of a retirement party from the mid-late 60s. And it, it just sounds so warm. It's, I mean, it's almost like you're there. The quality is so, so nice. This machine I've used, you know, many times. I've used it just for transferring. I've used it in a forensic case recently where one of my, my friends who does forensic audiovisual had me play back some tapes that may have recorded a crime in the 1960s and they wanted me to be there with the lawyer and stuff and they wanted the best machine possible to play it back. You know, nobody has anything bad to say about this machine. I mean, it's just, you know, even the, the client looked at the machine and said, God, that's a gorgeous machine. And it really is. It's like a, a, a working piece of art. That said, it also weighs a ton. Believe it or not, this gigantic machine was considered portable. It has a built-in lead acid battery that I might just take out one of these days if I want to be brave and get in there. But it, it it's basically has a car battery built into it. So this machine weighs about 60 or 70 pounds. It, it's a strain to pick this, this machine up. One of the reasons I charge what I do to do some of these transfers is I have to pick this machine up. This is not a machine that we leave set up because it's got the exposed transport. We store it in its box in a storage area. And if I have to pick the thing up, it's nothing I relish. It, it, it's just so heavy, but the quality is so good. 
And uh, what we'll usually do is hook this right into uh, a Tascam digital recorder, either the, uh, the Tascam DR44WL or the Tascam DR40 digital recorder. And it will record really high quality digital files. If we need to, sometimes we'll run it through a mixer first, but most of the time we don't need to. One of the things that we have to deal with quite often is there were four speeds that reel-to-reel -reel tapes were generally recorded at. One of them was an inch and seven eighths, and that was going back to the 50s, maybe 40s, 50s, and it was, I guess, phased out in the 60s or 70s because this machine doesn't play it back. If you look here, plays back three and three quarter, seven and a half, and 15 inches per second. The higher the number, the higher the quality. So this machine's uh, slowest speed is three and three quarter. Now, sometimes people do bring me inch and seven eighths tape. So what I can do is I play it at the three and three quarters speed. It sounds like, you know, chipmunks, but when I record it at high quality uh, onto one of the Tascam recorders, and then I put it into Premiere Pro and just do a 50% speed on the timeline, then it sounds perfect. And all I need to do is export it from there. It's a simple process. We do it quite often. If you have any more questions about reel-to-reel -reel audio transfer or any other audio-visual transfer, uh, please give us a call and we look forward to helping you with your transfer needs. Mm -hmm.